Amen. 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 Uh, preparing for examinations. Hallelujah. It is our prayer that you do well in examinations because we understand the time that you just came out of. Amen. Amen. This morning we had a great time in Life Bible Church for those that were there. And I believe that invitation was sent to everyone. So so Hallelujah. But we were on the book of Acts chapter number five. And I'd like us to go back there and finish what we started today. Amen. The book of Acts chapter number five is where we are tonight. Hallelujah. It's nice to be here. Senati mashala ngila paga nye nani jalo Wabusiswa kuche ufa Chobe Chobe Wabusiswa kuche ufa So first you have. Amen. One minute. Amen. Chobe! Chobe! Wabu si swa u so bata. Chobe, chobe. Chobe, chobe.
before the doors, but when we opened them, we found no one inside. Hallelujah. 25. So one came and told them, saying, look, the men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. 28. Did we not strictly command you not to teach in this name? And look, you have filled Jerusalem with the doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood on us. But Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Amen. Amen. We, we refuse to, to bow to you. We refuse to be put under pressure by you. Hallelujah. 37 says, or rather 38, and now I say to you, Keep away from these men and let them alone. For if this plan or this work is of men, it will come to nothing. But if it is of God, you cannot overthrow it, lest you even be found fighting against God. Hallelujah. It's a simple passage of scripture, a simple story, a Bible about the lives of the apostles of God. In church, we are busy dealing with the series of unity. Amen. Sekul manga unity in the body of Christ. And when I began, I said these words that unity, the first unity that you must create is the unity between you and God. Hallelujah. That's the first unity you must fight for with every fiber of your being. Because the day that you are disconnected and divided with the Lord, we are going to change the plans of Hallelujah. Because without God, we are nothing. Amen. And the second unity that you must really have, according to my commentary, my nyati commentary, amen, is the unity within yourself. Glory to Jesus. We are complete and whole. Where you don't require other people to complete you. Where you don't require other things to make you whole and fulfilled. Paul, when Paul says, 
I know what it is to be without. And I know what it is to have plenty. But I must it in everything I have learned to be content. In other words, I go eat to engage and apply the pillar to one. Someone say Amen here tonight. Amen. That will help you wherever you go in life. That you don't need certain relationships to fulfill you and to complete you, but God completes you. Amen. Amen. God makes you whole. Glory to Jesus. If you know, when the time for you to get married arrives. Really, you will not be a better half for somebody. Nikola Mazalwa. When I got married, I didn't look for the better half. I looked for a companion. I looked for a life partner because I didn't want to arrive in someone else's life. Ni uha funga pele. Nikola Matandega. And the third level of unity is a unity with other people. The kingdom relationships that God provides for your life. Someone say Amen. amen. Because Mshabeli Nukulu Nukulu does provide us with people of destiny. Hallelujah. I call them life joinings. The corner was alone. Kona wanyamantu abakona in your lifetime for temporal reasons. Abona boka mato shenda bona who are gonna be your friends forever. Some of you, it's not every one of us that will connect with him. Amen. I, 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 I do wish that I may connect with him. Hallelujah. And he strike me as a man that will get married soon. So please invite me to your wedding. Bless up in the name of the Lord. But there are those people that God provides. That are always there. Whether it's rainy days, they are there. Sunny days, they are there. Terrible days, they are there. Amen. They are destiny connectors. They propel you to your destiny. Amen. And Satan arrives all the time to fight those relationships. But you must protect them because they are God given. And look at the boss. That you say, yeah. say amen here tonight. It's an exam prayer. Oh, I'm going to get there very soon. Just travel with me for these few minutes. Amen. You have to fight for unity in the church of the living God. It's nice here because you come from different denominations and you have to fight denominationalism not to allow you to be divided. Amen. This is your, your, your unity, the word of the living God. Amen. Whatever that you do must unite you as well. And so these apostles of God were the people of unity. Glory to Jesus. We find them in chapter number two. The Bible says they were sitting together in one accord, in one room. Amen. And when they were sitting, there was a sound from heaven because unity releases a sound from heaven. Glory to Jesus. Unity brings glory. The Bible says where there is unity, God commands a blessing. Someone say amen in this place. Say amen here tonight. Amen. And now, after the day of Pentecost, Baba Tuyo Ulukulu also preaching the gospel and fulfilling the mandate of God. Be united with the assignment and the purpose God gave them. Hallelujah. Amen. While they were doing that, opposition came, problems came, persecution came came to fight and divide them. Amen. And the Bible says they were put in prison and while they were in prison the angel of the Lord came in the night and opened the prison doors and said to them, go and stand in the temple and teach the word of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I said this morning, umundu a purpose. Amen. 
Are you with me tonight? If people stop looking at me, I look at them. Am I fallen? And while they were there, they were brought out of the prison. And the next day, other than fallen, they gathered together to say, "Call them now for their persecution." Lo and behold, to put it, the gates were securely shut, and the guards were at the door, but there was no one in the in the prison. And somebody came and said, "The man that you are looking for are standing in the temple, and they are teaching the word of the living God." Are you with me today? Yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah. And they were brought to the council, and they said to them, "Didn't we tell you?" Not to spread this doctrine, Hallelujah. And Peter said, "We ought to obey God than to obey men. Our mandate and our purpose, ugula lela, ukulu kulu yena yetoa." Someone say, "Amen." Ubuswa isilake singenziluto olunye. Glory to Jesus. And so that brought anger to the Pharisees and the high priest. And while they were at that time, there was one of them from the enemy's camp. His name is Gamaliel. The Bible declares, "Would you watch for now?" Again, my people, the apostle, the apostle. Let me talk to you. Let me give you a brief history. There was a man who rose against this man. And he was dispersed and destroyed. There was Judas who came and divided or tried to divide them. What a man! But he perished. Amen. Amen. And he says, "My recommendation to you, therefore, before we do, leave these men alone. Hallelujah! Leave them alone because." Umalendo abayenza yo ite yo muto. It will come to nothing. But if it is of God, you cannot overthrow it. Is there anybody here today? Uko na ini osela on their own purpose. Uko na ini osela on their own plan. I do want to submit to you tonight that you are here. On the purpose and the plan of God, glory to Jesus. Amen. It is really not your parents that brought you here, but the plan of God brought you here in this university. So there is no devil in hell that can overthrow you, because what you are doing is not of man nor of you, but it is of God. And so the devil cannot overthrow you. Some say amen. amen. Some say amen. amen. I want to submit to you. I'm a lefer in Zinje. No, my instinct is all seven in pen. And then I pray and sit down. That caused the apostles to be successful, and for them to always unite with the purpose of God for their lives as you prepare for your examinations. Alboga malengos. Alboga malengos. The first thing that they did is to go for examinations. The apostles of God were a people of purity. Amen. They were a people of purity. Purity means cleanness. Purity means cleanliness. Purity means freshness. Purity means free from bondage. Free from any kind of sin, free from adultery, amen. Free from anything that takes you away from the plan of God. Free from anything that derails you from the purpose of God given for your life. Somebody say, amen. amen. The purity that they operated under it caused them to be men and women of integrity. They didn't allow anything that will remove them from their integrity. Someone say, amen. "Amen, Hallelujah." They never settled for anything less that than, than that of their integrity. Are you with me? You remember in this chapter? You remember 
Mukuti, there was a couple by the name of Ananias. Oh, Ania, how come we could talk to Ania? Yes, no, Ananias, hallelujah. No, Safira, amen. Or Safira, glory to God. Who came and made a pledge to the apostles to say, We are going to sell the land and bring in the proceedings of the land. But when the money came to them, they squandered the other half and brought the half to the apostles and they lied to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And Peter said to them, why are you lying to the Holy Spirit? Not even to us. Amen. Why are you lying to the Holy Spirit? Glory to God. Because the wages of sin is death. Glory to Jesus. But they said to them, I am a proper apostle. You can all get loco as it told them after your days. Are you here? And therefore they dropped dead. What am I saying to you? I'm saying to you, integrity is important as you build your life. Purity is important as you build your life. You cannot go to examinations with a clouded mind, a clouded spirit, a clouded emotions. Amen. You have to clear your mind, clear your emotions, clear yourself. Amen. Go through sanctification. Go through, uh, go, go through cleansing. Hallelujah. And say, Lord, search me and know my heart. Are you here today? Are you here today? Number two, they were the people who knew and understood the power of the Holy Spirit. Glory to Jesus. Because as you are going for your examinations, the Bible declares, would he be sober and be vigilant for your adversary, the devil is roaring about to seek whom he may devour. Amen. But when we know the power, when we understand the ability of God for our lives, we shall begin to pray and invoke that power. Glory to God. Pray over your mind and your spirit and pray over the room of the Lion. Pray with him. No sickness shall come upon me. Amen. Because Satan is seeking whom he may devour. But there is power in the name of Jesus. Amen. There is power in the name of Jesus. We even pray that the power of God will travel back to your home. Your examination will be a smooth transition in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The power of God speaks of the ability of God. The Bible says God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all what we can ask or imagine. Amen. The power of God speaks of the potential that God has given into you. I'm looking to potential here today. Amen. I'm looking to potential now. When we speak about potential, we speak about what is about to be discovered. Are you with me today? We speak about something that you are going to release. So which means it's going to do with your future. Amen. You have the potential to pass these examinations. You haven't passed yet. And we yet is the language of faith. Yeah. Glory to Jesus. Yeah. You haven't passed yet, but you've got potential to pass. And the power of God will come upon you, amen. And give you the ability, the which mouth addition, who was absorb what you study, amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because you have to study. Yeah. Now, when we speak of potential, it's a future. There are two kinds of futures in Ganesha. Amen. Two kinds. There is a predictable future and there is a preferred future. Two. A predictable future is a future that says 
wena ungoga manyati uzalwa equtu uzalwa emasojeni esikuthe semasojeni uzala u LC no sipho aba nama limitations 1 2 3 4 aba hambe bahluleka 1 2 3 4 and 5 and so it is therefore predictable for you that you will also fall into the ditches that they fell into. In other words, your past dictates where you are going. Are you with me today? Yes, it's predictable. Somebody say amen. amen. But a preferred future is the future that says, I know that my father failed then. But as for me and my house, according to the grace of the living God given to me, I prefer to live the future as she is in the course. I shall succeed. Where my father was limited, I will go over that in Jesus' name. You said, Hallelujah. I'm breaking the curse. And after that, many cars came. Amen. You've got potential today. Let me draw to the close. The power of God comes from the Holy Spirit. Are you really anywhere else? And today we pray that the Holy Spirit will come upon you. Number three, they were the people of persecution. But the persecutions that they went through, these guys, is a persecution that helped them to strengthen their conviction. Hallelujah. So I'm saying to you, I do not know what you have been through. I do not know what you are going through right now. Glory to Jesus. Because there are things you are facing, even your friends, they don't know about. But I want to say to you, take those persecutions and let them strengthen you in your conviction. Be convicted within you. And my being here, I want to do one, two, and three, and four. And you, you allow the conviction to lead you through your persecutions. Hallelujah. Amen. And then number four, they were the people of priority. They prioritized. Amen. You can never succeed if you don't have priorities. Uti, Upita, listen to us. Say, we respect you, but we choose to prioritize God. He says, we ought to obey God rather than man. So to, for Peter and the apostles, God was a priority. Amen. As you sit here today, what is your priority? As you go for examinations, what is your priority? December. December is next week. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's not two months away, it's next week. And so you have to begin to prioritize. When, when, when others are going to have a good time, you sit down and study, hallelujah. Because you are convicted, you know where you are going. You know what you want to do, glory to God. And then number, number five, they were the people of perseverance. Hallelujah. Talk to me, Talk to me, where's one John? In other words, Master Gazella, Sibulala, Indochala. Hey, Kosiam. Sifundu, we bamba. Sifundu, accept the way we are. And we say, we are going to arrive there, but not today. Today, I need to study. Amen. Amen. Today, I must focus. But I will get there. Glory to Jesus. Amen. And so I must persevere. Amen. 
And as you persevere, Ushibuti, you live your life, as I said, according to your convictions. What is your conviction today? Yini conviction yaku. Jehushila na mshaji. Yini conviction yaku. Glory to Jesus. And lastly, they were the people of praise. They were the people of praise. Glory to Jesus. Praise is to thank God. Praise is to have an attitude of gratefulness. To have gratitude within you. But you begin to praise God. You know what praise does to you? Praise brings encouragement within you. You begin to say, Lord, thank you for saving me. Lord, thank you for the shoes in my foot. Even those in you know, five years or six years in us, but I thank you. And Lord, I thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you are doing. Thank you for where I am going. Because as you begin to praise God, if God begins to open your eyes. But you are going somewhere, amen. And as you praise God, the power of the living God begins to rise within you. Hallelujah. You begin to rise from the ashes and say, I take my position and go where God says I must go. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Purity, power, persecution, priorities, perseverance, and praise. said. I'm just going to pray once again and just release a blessing over your life. Hold hands with somebody where you are standing. In the name of Jesus. <laughs>